Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeff. Today is another sunny, beautiful day in Vancouver. Today we'll be talking about the Valence Navier AR. So if that's something you're interested in, please stay tuned and keep on watching. The Navier AR coat was introduced from fall winter 19. It came in black and navy at that time. This is the second year that this coat is offered. This year, the all colors are Pluton and Sediment Heather. I myself have the Pluton Heather right here, which is kind of like a gunmetal gray with a tint of blue in it. It's very lovely gray, grayish steel blue, if you will. Yeah, it's an awesome color. I kind of wish I got it in Sediment instead though, but this will do. This Navier coat is an all-rounded AR coat which utilizes two face fabrics. It has a twill weave, which is nice and soft, which is the main feature of this jacket actually. It's comparable to a herringbone coat in menswear. So this is as menswear as it'll get for uh, tech wear. This is a good fusion between tech wear and menswear. And you can expect to get a lot of use out of this in fall winter. This Navier coat is regular fit. It fits many layers. You can even fit a puffy down underneath which I can show you later. And it's most intriguing feature is the paneling between a regular face, nylon face and the twill weave nylon polyester blend. The panels on this jacket where they have the regular nylon face for the Gore-Tex fabric are the higher wearing areas. So around the wrist cuffs, down the back of your hand and the arm, right here in the pockets, up to this part, the shoulders and the hood most of the hood and all of the back of the hood is the uh, ADD Gore-Tex nylon face. The Navier AR coat has four pockets two exterior hand warmer pockets that are fleece lined which is a very nice touch there are two interior security pockets which are very generously sized I'm thinking they must have uh, gone to work on this new coat that's only a year old when they uh, made these interior pockets that are actually usable for storage compared to the uh, previous offerings of coats and jackets and whatnot, which were very, very small. You could fit like a wallet in there, I guess. The Navier AR has a storm hood. It has two adjustments. That's typical, the two on the sides here, which pull down the brim, cinches the brim down. And the one at the back of the center of your neck which tightens, which compacts the hood down this way. As with a lot of the newer jackets and coats from Valence and Arcturix, the back of the neck features a felt patch, which prevents oil contamination from seeping through the membrane and potentially causing delamination issues. It has a felt patch here by the chin collar for increased comfort next to skin. The Gore-Tex used in this coat is a three-layer construction. It uses the classic Gore-Tex with tricot backer it has an ADD nylon face, which is the uh, ones around the cuff and the higher wearing areas. It has a 70D twill face. It has a 70D twill weave for the rest of the body of the jacket, which is its main design feature again. What are some pros and cons of this jacket? The pros being that it's the twill weave makes it less uh, swishy and it's not as plasticky looking, so if you're not, you're not looking very techy, passes very well as regular menswear. You still got a bit of that tech feature though. Uh, do note that in my opinion, if you got it in the navy color from fall winter 19, the uh, contrast between the panels or the ADD and the 70D twill fabric is very distinctive in my opinion. That might put you off for whatever reason you might have. Uh, personally, in the Pluton, the black, and the sediment, they're all very subdued. It is noticeable, but it's not as a, uh, it doesn't pop out as much as the navy color, in my opinion. Which again, makes it so you can wear it formally if you wanted to, if you really wanted to. Of course, there's always a partition for that. But yeah, the, the twill weave is a very nice touch. It gives you that kind of a weighted uh, fall winter coat feeling without actually being too weighty itself. Another pro is its regular fit, allows you to fit many different types of layers underneath. You can wear it with a Mion, Conduit LT, you could probably fit a Conduit AR underneath. I've worn it with a Thorium AR just for fun underneath, and while it works, you can do it, 
but you probably shouldn't do it. Another pro is probably its length. It's perfect length. It's not too long, it's not too short. It has a lot of coverage. What are some cons of this jacket? Well, the only con in my opinion is its weight. Uh, it is quite hefty for a Gore-Tex piece, but it is a coat, so what do you expect? If you also have a monitor coat and this coat, then you will definitely feel a difference. The monocle is very lightweight. It uses the Gore-Tex Pro membrane. It doesn't have the twill weave and the tricot backing, which is what causes it to be substantially heavier, although it's still not that heavy. So, who's this coat for? This coat is for the person that only wants to have one jacket or one valence piece. It's got a nice length. It's got the perfect length for a coat. Perfect coverage. It's got this twirl weave, so you can get a lot of usage out of it. Semi-formal, formal, casual, whatever your special needs are. It's still got that tech wear feel to it with the panel design. It's still got that techy feeling to it, if you will. It's still got a touch of techy tech wear feeling to it with the panel design. I hope this video was helpful for you to decide if you should get the Navi AR jacket. Let me know in the comments down below if you have a Navi AR jacket, what color you got, and how you love it. And I hope to see you in the next video.